Alrighty, what is going on you guys? This is your boy the Deathmasher and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls video and today we're back again with yet another match and Senate showcase and you know what? It's something nice to do before a thousand year blow or round five gets resurrected because I do have another lineup of showcases to present to the channel but today we're going to be doing past Eisen and before that uh, shout outs to my boy Viole Nicholas for you know providing me his account because without his help the video would not have been a thing so thanks again and uh this character he is still the only mid-month character to have 80 percent sp i'm not even capping and honestly i do consider him to be a pretty broken mid-month character because of the amount of skills that this guy has there is a couple flaws here which is basically the choice in killer i mean it's still quite useful in guild quests let's say you use yama and you need to have a support unit that can pretty much you know sink the soul bomb in to get sub zero or even a faster sub one this guy is going to be pretty good to have if you do not have the likes of the tech jushiro safui toshiro or even quincy ichigo for that matter of fact he still is going to be pretty damn good as a soul trait of strong attack reaches time of minus 14 percent he is max incented with 500 sp the bonus abilities we do have full stam and weakened defense and uh yeah he has drain on his entire kit that's the second problem that this character has because there is multiple inheritance trials like the one we just had previously enemies were immune to drain you would not be able to use this aizen at all here just because it's gonna make him miss out on healing his health and on top of that getting the 80 percent sp buff so Honestly, this character would have been a lot better if he came with a secondary status element like, I don't know, weakening, paralysis maybe, like anything that can help him inflict status elements to get the 80% SP buff because without it, it sucks. But other than that, he is still pretty damn good. He does have Sperm plus one, poison immunity, increased strong attack damage when at full stamp of 40%. And the skills, Bruiser 20, throwaway ability, the bullet terror plus two. He has guard break plus hit hidden enemy, so you don't even need to give this guy Zeta pill. Damage inflicted at full stamp of 20%, Berserker 40, Devastation 40, and then status ailments, virtual pressure boost of 80%, and Frenzy plus one. And the other main issue is because him being a mid-month character meant not getting Havoc. So here's hoping that with every mid-month that we get from now on, characters do get havoc and we've seen that with a good couple cases such as um i'm trying to remember stark then we had the past shuhei or academy shuhei not past excuse me and then the new heart ginjo which in my opinion is currently one of the best mid-month characters that we have gotten in a good long while and this character could have been amazing if he had all those flaws taken away but that being said, let's get into showcasing this character. We are going to start off with the hybrid SARSAD setup. And then obviously, actually, no, we have the FSD setup already ready to go. So that's already nice. However, I am going to change the hollow bait for a badge since we have it this time around. So yeah, all with 30% SP. And then we have full on full stamina damage boost links, as you guys can see right here all of them do have level 10 sp so we are going to be getting the best in terms of possible transcendence from this aizen and uh we have the strong attack damage increased up at 80 percent full stamp of 110 percent and of course the spiritual pressure increased at a total of 170 percent the total sp that we have on aizen is a good 6k plus so already very amazing we're going to be able to dish out the best possible damage numbers with this setup anyways even though we do not have the likes of rukia or halibut in this case but either way still pretty good we're gonna be taking jushiro because this guy does boost us up on that sa2 of his and then akon because this guy right here can literally give out an additional 20 percent strong attack damage to speed characters and it's just gonna be another nice buff to this aizen so let's just go and get right into it and see what this character is completely capable of and here we are and oh look at this we actually have an iz where enemies can go underground thankfully we don't need to give this guy's pill because well he has the skill so the kit 
Um, let's just summarize it like this. He's got the same kit as the Mind Mayuri, but without having. So he's got the Suction Vortex on that SA1 of his, a 2.5k length beam with an 800 plus width, and then a full screen, a thousand radius strong attack. So yeah, the kit is actually very good. Nothing has been screwed around here, with the only exception being what I just stated earlier. Oh, you're right. 89k on the SA2. 37k. This guy's putting in a good amount of damage numbers, but now can we get the the 80% SP buff back in time so that way we can, you know, see the total damage on the SA3? I'm just gonna go for straight up damage and see what we can do already at his best. <sighs> Freaking finally, god damn. And there we go. Overall 80k with all that alone set in stone. But now let's boost ourselves up with Jusha and see a bit of the damage numbers and then restart the whole damn quest. So hold on. 44k on that SA1 of his. He is definitely not missing with the damage numbers, alright. Almost 100k. And then lastly, 83k. And I guess another flaw that this character has pretty much would be the lack of increased status summon chance because I was having a rough time just being able to get the 80% SP buff even with the SA1 having a very good decent chance at doing so. So it would have been nice if as a mid-month character he did get that. But hey, let's hope that in the future we do actually get a bit more 80% SP buff characters that actually have the skill because... This character is still the only one, and hopefully with a bit of havoc, because, like, screw it, bro. Like, if they can make broken mid-month characters, like, as good as potential end-of-the-month characters, they actually can choose to do so, and heck, why not? I mean, we still skip mid-month banners anyway, so, like, at least, you know, when adding these characters to the premium pool, it's just gonna be nice for when we pull them for free from tickets. I pulled this Aizen for free from BBS tickets, and I still like this character, just that I'm not using him as much because I just have way better characters as a whole, but still, I like him. So, <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Now let's move on to the next build. Next up is the hybrid setup, which is always gonna be the ideal build to go for every single co-op quest, with the exception of maybe epic raids for when dishing out the best possible damage. But, uh, yeah, Quincy Ichigo, Second Annie Ichigo, and Chad all with level 10 SP, and we still are hitting that beautiful 6.1k SP as a whole, and uh, yeah, we still have 101% front attack damage, full stam at 70%, but most importantly, cooldown reduction. We have 50% as you guys can see right here, making it very damn easy to, you know, still put out a lot of damage and get the front attacks back, which is always going to be nice. It's always good to be able to balance out cooldowns and damage to be able to clear faster. All right, let's get the 80% SP buff in. So, okay, there we go. We already got it. And hey, mini hollow, 68k, already damn good. Without the buff or the boost, 35k, and we lost the damn SP buff. That is just annoying. 85k, nice. Now let's boost with Jushiro. Now he'll do 40k. Damn good. 85k. And lastly on the SA2. Oh, God damn it, bro. I already lost the buff. That is just so retarded. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to start another quest, all right. This is why I hate it when characters don't have increased status summon chance. It just makes it harder to get it back like that. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, let's do another run and see the best that you can do, finally. And almost 100k. Aizen being able to do that much damage alone is hella nutty, bro. And that's why I like this character, bro. It's just a shame that he doesn't have Havoc, he doesn't have increased status damage chance, and in my opinion, he definitely needed a better killer, even though it can be useful for Guild Wars. For sure, it definitely can be useful. But other than that, this character is good, he's great. He definitely comes with his flaws, and I consider this unit to easily be a top 10 unit still for speed. That can definitely change with the anniversary should we get another speed character, which I hope we don't. <laughs> I think speed is stacked enough as is. We literally have all killers covered, Soul Reaper killer being Tensa, 
Hollow Killer being Okiora, a Ronker and no affiliation killer being Uryu and Macy. It's like, do we need any more speed characters? I don't think so, bro. I think we're good, and we already have ourselves a Nuker that is almost on the same comparable level as Yama for speed, being Ulk, so like. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and dive on in and co-op and uh, see the best that this guy can dish out. Alrighty, here we are in IT, and ooh, that's an interesting room number. <laughs> you don't get that every day. But anyways, on Aizen, we're running the same setup as always because we want to be able to clear the quest as fast as possible. And thankfully here, in this type of inheritance trials, enemies are not immune to drain. We don't have to worry about anything, and enemies are pretty much hollow. But honestly speaking, with this character, because of the amount of DPS that he has on his skills, we don't even need to worry about killer as much. So we're going to be able to plow through this IT like as if it's nothing. The only thing that will really stop us is if we get an IT with drain resistance, which we had not too long ago. So let us begin and showcase how good he is when doing a solo run. Alright, let us begin and oh, that's right, Aizen is immune to poison, we don't even have to worry about this. Yeah, uh, this character's one-shotting. We don't even need killer. Now, I do give it a complaint that I wish he had a better killer just because of the simple matter of fact that, um, I don't know, Squad Zero Killer, there's just a lot better alternatives to use over this Aizen in terms of side units. Like I said, he can work, it's just that there's better, and, uh, yeah, but everything else, he's good. Just needs, you know, increased status ailment chance. Definitely needs Havoc for damn sure, like, it's pretty noticeable how the lack of range is there. But that being said, I'm at least content that this guy has a semi-Havoc SA2 at the end of the day, because keep in mind, Aizen literally has the 3k length beam with a 1020 width, but without the Havoc, it's only gonna result as if he has like 800 width, which is normally what the old 3k length beam had since it was always an 870 width but with a length of 3000 so again big difference and then we have the sa1 that is just going to help us out a lot with getting the status elements proc oh we got hit guess what that is irrelevant we just need to heal ourselves back up it or die and use the free revive who the hell cares we just can do that and boom just like that everyone died and boom Easy piece of lemon squeeze, we don't even have to worry about that. Oh my god, I almost got barrel roll, bro. Oh, Jesus Christ, that is just so annoying. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, he's good. He's definitely fantastic. You don't see a mid-month character put out this type of damage numbers at Mat Transcendence, for sure. Although, I definitely will say, I don't think he's... I don't think he's going to be all that great in the Limit Breaker quest because of the simple matter of fact that, for starters, where are you going to use Squad Zero Killer? Nowhere. We're not getting Squad Zero mobs. It's literally a PvP killer, a GQ a killer, and it's only going to be uh, applicable against actual bosses. And uh, he also needs Havoc just, be, just to be able to cover enough range to kill off as many men as many enemy mobs as possible and just get through the stages done faster so yeah and Woo -hoo! oh oh okay that is so good we cleaned we definitely cleaned sheesh i need more copies of this damn eyes and even though i don't need to get him right now he's not a priority so. yeah that's Eisen for you lads just a broken mid-month character with the lack of havoc and increased status on chance. And of course, missing a secondary status on. But um, yeah, thank you once again. Definitely good. Was glad I was able to showcase him at maximum sentence. But uh, yeah, if you guys have actually enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and uh, yeah, hit the bell notification. So that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. This has been your boy, The Death Smasher, and I hope to see you guys all in the next one. So take care, lads. Peace out. Bye.